Hey guys, wanna go outside? That's right, today we are going on an adventure. So, welcome to another video. Arlisha here, and I want to take you guys outside, away from the inside where things happen in nature. And I've been wanting to do some plein air painting basically forever. So I stuffed my old bag full of things that didn't fit in it and went outside. It was a really nice day comparatively to what we've had here in Pennsylvania. I thought about painting this old church that had burned down recently, but it was kind of on Main Street and there wasn't really anywhere for me to sit without being in the way or being uncomfortable, so I kept walking. And it was probably about 40 degrees Fahrenheit this day. Now, depending on where you live, that may seem kind of warm or pretty cold to you. But for me, it was warmer than we'd had all winter. We'd had below freezing temperatures and I couldn't resist the opportunity to get out on this day. And there was still some snow on the ground. And I knew almost right away that I wanted to go to this church and kind of sketch out some things at the cemetery because cemeteries are amazing and beautiful. So I parked it here in this little grassy area next to this particularly friendly looking family off to the side and decided that I wanted to paint the church with the graves in the foreground. I don't know if you guys will recognize this sketchbook, but this is one of those Canson Montball sketch sketchbooks, and um, if you're not familiar with them, they're relatively awful for watercolors. The reason I say that is just because the color, it doesn't, it doesn't soak into the paper. So when you try to do layers, it lifts the layers underneath, and you're gonna see my paint moving around all over the place. And I think that that would have ultimately made the biggest difference in how this piece turned out. This is it. Okay, done. Painting's done. Thanks for watching. Just kidding. I did a little thumbnail sketch and uh, immediately ripped it out of my sketchbook. So because I wanted to have it visible, I didn't want to do my sketch and then never see it again when I changed to a new page. So I had my sketch there and I was referencing both my sketch and my, uh, you know, my reference in front of me. And the importance of having the sketch in front of you is because you can better gauge the composition so you know where the edges of the frame are and you know kind of a bit more about perspective. And doing these little thumbnails are great for me. Also, it was a good warm up to think about architecture a little bit more, even though the sketch is super loose and messy. It was helpful to do that to kind of get my brain to start thinking about buildings and perspective and how those things work. I really enjoy looser sketching like this. It's actually pretty enjoyable knowing that it doesn't have to be overly structured and I can just focus on shapes and perspective and how the grave's a little bit further away that those headstones would get smaller and then comparatively my building would be much smaller. So my, my foreground, that closest headstone, might actually be half the size of the entire church because it's so much closer to us than the building in the background. And I also wanted to be able to think about those things as I moved on to color. So once I started actually painting, the images in the foreground, those objects were going to be more vibrant and more saturated, and then that vibrancy and saturation would decrease as we moved to the background. 
I have my portable painter palette with me here. I did bring water brushes, but the little cubbies on the side, cuppies on the side, cu cuppies, um, can hold water. And I did end up using that because it was nice to get to rinse my brush without totally emptying it of water, which I did very quickly. I had no water left in my water brush. And I tried to start by establishing a darker shape in the foreground and then just kind of moving around and wiggling around and putting colors in different places and uh you can kind of tell i am sitting on the ground so i brought a scarf i was wearing my scarf and then i got you know maybe 10 minutes down the road and felt like it was too warm for a scarf so i regretted bringing my scarf why did i even why did I even bring that thing with me? But then I got to where I wanted to paint and realized there was nowhere for me to sit. So I was immediately, suddenly, exceptionally grateful for my scarf because I now had a place to put my bum where I wouldn't get super cold. And the ground was cold and a little bit damp because the snow was melting. So I'm happy that I didn't have to sit on the wet grass. So thank you, scarf, for making the ultimate sacrifice so that I could not have a cold behind. I appreciate you. Thanks a lot, Scarf. This palette is made up almost exclusively of Daniel Smith paints, like their Essentials set and a couple other individual colors. I had picked up like Quinacridone Red? Because I think Quinacridone Re Rose comes in the set, so like Quinacridone Red Maybe is in there. It's probably not even in there. I don't know. Cerulean blue is in there. Burnt umber. Naples yellow. Um, prop paints gray. You know, just a couple other colors to fill out this set of 12. And I hadn't used it in a while. So this was really nice to just kind of do that and use it. And um, ultimately, I feel like the primary thing that this piece was missing in the end was contrast. So um, because of this type of paper and the way that it refuses to layer, I had trouble getting my foreground darker and more saturated and my background more desaturated. There's not a huge ton of variance in values, but it was a fun adventure. And I hope you guys will try going outside and painting sometimes or just looking around at what's actually in front of you in a room and drawing it or painting it. I immediately go to a screen for reference when there's so much to see right around you and I hope that you guys have enjoyed watching this even though the piece itself could have been better but that's okay. I had fun and I painted until I couldn't feel my fingers anymore because it was actually a little bit cold and it wasn't sunny so it was extra cloudy cold and then I went home feeling good and feeling proud of myself for having gone out and done a thing. So. Thank you guys so, 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 so much, as always, for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, you can give it a thumbs up. And if you're new, you can subscribe to my channel, because I make two videos a week on Mondays and Thursdays. And it's fun, and we have fun. And I appreciate you, and I like you, and thank you, and you're great, and have a great week. And I'll see you next time. Okay, bye, guys. Have a great week. Okay, bye. Bye-bye. See you later. Okay, bye.